I had an experience as a child of uh, picking blackberries from my grandmother's backyard. Thinking back on it now, I think that having that heritage of seeing those vegetables and fruits and how much respect that she had for those ingredients during those days had a, a big impact on me now. My name is Riley Sanders and I'm the head chef of uh, Canvas in Bangkok. We're a one Michelin star restaurant serving all Thai ingredients in a way that's very new and very different. We had a tasting session of the whiskeys and after that um, we thought about some different ideas that we could use. For me, I wanted to do something that was also a little bit different. I was uh, doing a lot of traveling before I moved here and I was a private chef on a yacht and I think I had gone to 30 or 35 countries over this period of three to four years that I was doing that. Thailand was the first country that I came to when I left the United States and as soon as I stepped off the plane I was like, wow. You know, this was amazing. And one of the first things that I did is I went to Phuong Thai Market. It's stimulating and it's hectic and um, very vibrant and it's busy. A lot of these ingredients were things that I had never seen before. So to me, that's always something that's really exciting to see something that you've never seen before, to taste something that you've never seen before. So our food tastes different, it looks different, and we're making a type of cuisine that's not um, really easily categorized, but I'd say that it's innovative. We try to stay true to Thai flavors, and we do use a lot of spice and uh, acid and salt and sugar and seasoning as heavy, spicy food. All the time, we're thinking about these new ingredients that are coming in and, and how to use them. So this is uh, wild mushrooms, and this dish is about not only wild mushrooms, but things that are growing in the wild, in the forest, in the jungle. We use uh, malberry from Sakanakon. We flavor it with a makwen pepper from the Hong Son. There's wild chestnuts and wild coriander. And we're pairing the dish with the Balvany 12-year double wood. And the whiskey has a taste of, of spice and vanilla and a little bit of a fruity note. And these are all flavors that are also present in the dish that I think are gonna pair really well with the whiskey. We serve uh, a dish of five different types of banana. This is a celebration of banana and different ingredients that pair well with it. So we have an ice cream that's made from egg banana or kai, a shaved ice made from ladyfinger banana kombucha, a banana custard that's made with bananas that are roasted in banana leaf with some palm sugar, gui hom, which has been freeze dried, and gui hukmuk, which we make into chips. Also a banana juice that we cook for like four or five hours and we get this clean banana flavor. So the Balvany Double Wood 17 year is a, is a great match for this. It has flavor of honey and sweet spices and caramel, and these are all flavors that are also present in the dish. I'm excited to come to work. I'm excited to, to use these ingredients and um, to create something.